What's up everybody? I'm gonna show you how I use the Keepa Chrome extension to analyze products to sell on Amazon. Wholesale, private label, whatever it is you're gonna do, Keepa is gonna help you do it better. So stay tuned. <music> What's up everybody, Todd Welch here from The Entrepreneur Adventure. And let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you today how I use the Keepa extension and Keepa data package to analyze products when I'm gonna go and sell them wholesale. You could also use this for private label and everything as well. So before we get started though, there's gonna be a couple links that you're gonna need. I'll show them on the screen right here, or you can find them down below. Um, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click the link to install the Keepa extension for your browser. This is gonna allow the graph to show up on Amazon when you're looking at products. And then second, you're gonna to wanna to click the link down below to purchase the data package. Uh, what the data package is going to do is give you all the information that Keepa pulls from Amazon so that you can analyze it properly and see the information that you need to see. So you're gonna need both of those for this to work properly. Now the links down below are gonna be affiliate links, uh, which means I'll get a small cut of any purchase that you make at no additional cost to you and it'll help me make more videos like this for free. So I'd really appreciate it if you did use those links. And while you're down there, go ahead, click the subscription button, the subscribe button, and click the little bell as well to get notified of more videos just like this to help you in your Amazon business. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in here. So the first thing I'm gonna do, this is the uh, Keepa, uh, extension that I'm gonna show you. I've got a few Amazon products opened up here so we can kind of analyze and you can get a feel for what I look for uh, when I'm looking for a wholesale product to purchase on Amazon possibly. So once you have the Keepa extension installed, it's gonna give you a graph similar to this down below here. It's gonna be right below the bullet points of your product. Um, and there's a lot of information on here that probably won't quite make sense when you first look at it, but it's really good information to analyze a product. So the first thing that I really like to look at is if you see this orange section, this solid orange section, um, that is when Amazon is selling on a product. It's a little hard to see, but you can zoom in on different areas here. So right now I have mine defaulted to show me the last year of data, but you can zoom in to three months, one month, one week, one day, whatever you wanna look at. But I'm gonna zoom into three months so we can kinda of see this Amazon section a little bit better. Um, and on the right here as well, you can remove different parts of this graph or add additional things in. So if I uncheck this Amazon, you see that orange part goes away. Um, but I'm gonna always keep that checked because if I'm looking at a product, I wanna know if Amazon is selling that product. Because if they are, then that's probably not a product that I want to try selling because Amazon is not friendly. They're not gonna share the buy box with you, so you're very likely not gonna get any sales unless you drop your price so low that you're not making any money. Um, so in this case, it looks like Amazon came on this listing right about January 24th. It shows the dates there if you scroll across on the graph, which is really nice. And you can see as soon as they came on this listing, they tanked the price. Before, someone was selling it for 1616 right here. So these little triangles are what we call new third-party FBA. So if I uncheck that, those go away. If I check it, they come back. So you and I most likely are going to be selling third-party FBA. So that's where we purchase products from a supplier and send them into Amazon. Amazon stores them in their warehouse and ships them out when it sells. So before Amazon came on this listing, the price was about 16.16, and when they came on it, 
They dropped it all the way down to 691, 699. As you scroll across there, you can see the different prices. So Amazon is showing there in the orange, third party or yellowish, whatever you wanna call that. Um, third party FBA is in a little darker orange or a little more reddish. Um, and then what's also cool on this is it has a sales rank. So you can scroll across here and see how the sales rank is changing. So you can see that number in green there that says 1,964. That is the sales rank. So in this category, this product at that moment is time is the 1,964th ranked product, uh, which means it's selling very quickly. Um, and if we keep scrolling over here, uh, you can see it's become even lower, 240, so it's gotten very popular. Now, if something happened in this drop right here, when I see a really sharp drop right there with no explanation, there's no decrease in price, Amazon didn't come on the listing at that time, things like that, what that tells me is that something happened right there. Um, and one thing that Amazon has been doing as of late is combining variations. So you can see there's lots of variations on this product. So in the past, Amazon was calculating sales rank individually by each product. And recently they've been starting to join all of the variations into one sales rank. Um, so when that happens, you're often gonna see a big drop like that because here it was probably just this individual item and now it dropped all the way down and now it's a combination of all of the variations on this listing um, so you're going to want to keep that in mind that after you see a spike like that or drop like that this sales rank is probably no longer for that individual variation um, so it makes it a little more difficult to figure out exactly um, what the sales rank is for this product. Um, in another video here, and I'll put that link down below, I'm going to have another review of a plugin called RevSeller as well as a plugin called ReviewMeta uh, that will allow you to analyze reviews and help you get a little bit better idea on which variations are selling the best, things like that. So definitely check that video out. I'll put that link down below also. Um, let's see, what else here? So the sales rank and the new, so all these little things over here, you can click on them, remove them, add things in. Um, this one even has the price for eBay, which is really cool, so you can compare the price that this is going for over on eBay versus here on Amazon. So if you ever do any kind of flipping between Amazon and eBay, this could be very helpful because if you look at this right now, this item selling for 17.10 on eBay and Amazon is selling it for 6.91. So you could potentially buy it on Amazon, flip it on eBay. Um, obviously, you're going to want to look on eBay and see how quickly this item is selling and if it's selling very often at that price, but something you could look at if that's the kind of game that you're in. Um, so let's see, something else before we move on to another listing, just to cover all the different things here that we can do. Um, you can click and drag on a section and then it'll zoom into that section for you, which is really nice if you want to look at a particular section. And then you can click these to zoom back out to the full graph. Um, up here at the top, if you click on settings, um, you can change a few things here that are nice. So you can set it to default to show whichever things you want here. If they're highlighted in blue, then they're automatically turned on whenever you go to a new listing. Um, if they're not, then they're not gonna show up, obviously. So these are the defaults that I have mine set to, as you can see here. Um, but you can set them to whatever uh, you prefer. Now, I don't really use the tracking settings a whole lot, but it does have the ability to track a product. So what it's going to do is you can start tracking it and it's gonna keep a history for you and alert you to any significant price changes and things like that so you can get alerted. 
Um, I do use that a little bit for things that I want to purchase for myself personally so that I can see if there's a price drop and then I can grab it. Um, so it's really nice for that. But in terms of selling on Amazon, I don't use it a whole lot for that. Um, but if you're doing private label, it could be very valuable to monitor your competition and see uh, what their price changes are doing. So you could definitely use that for that as well. Um, there's a variation tab here. So you can see all of the different variations that are on this listing. Um, you can also could just look up here as well, but kind of nice to have it all right here. Gives you the UPC, the ASIN, the size, and several other different good information that you can uh, check out. And you can click on each of these columns and sort by those columns as well. Uh, so some good information puts it nice and easy there for you. Um, and then of course, if you click the eBay, it's gonna open up and actually take you over there. And it's loading kind of slow for me right now. So you can see it took me over to eBay for that item and you can see it searched for UPC now that's not gonna be perfect on eBay because not every listing has the UPC uh, but it brings you over there and then you can do some additional searches and stuff like that if that's something that you're wanting to look at all right so let's take a look at another listing here that's gonna look a little bit different for us um, so this is some leather milk and if we scroll down on this one, you can see Amazon is not selling on this item. So that is a good thing. So this is potentially something that we could try to open up an account and sell. Um, one thing that I really look for if Amazon's not on the listing is I wanna make sure that the price that it's currently selling at is something that it's historically sold at. So you can look at this here and you can see this line that goes across which is the new price. So that's this here. This line show, tells me that for the last year, the price has pretty much always been this $17.95. So that's a good thing. That means if it's profitable for me to purchase and sell this product, the price is probably gonna stay stable for me and not be fluctuating all over. You wanna make sure that you're not gonna buy a product that's profitable right now, but historically has not been profitable um, and in the future very likely won't be profitable either. You might be just at a peak or something like that, so you wanna watch that. Um, and then another thing that I really look at is the sales rank. So you can use other tools like Jungle Scout and things like that to get a guesstimate on how many items this is selling per month. And uh, if you wanna check out Jungle Scout, I'll have a review for that down below as well so you can check that out. Um, but the sales rank, what you're gonna to wanna to make sure is when you look at that Jungle Scout or other tools that give you a guesstimate on how much this is selling, they're doing it usually at this moment in time based off of the current sales rank of this product. And so if we zoom in here, you can see the current sales rank of this product is 7,233. So what you wanna do is make sure that that sales rank is about the median of the past so that you're not thinking that this product is selling more than what it actually is. So as we zoom out here, you can see 1750 and if we scroll our mouse over that is right about in the middle of where it is historically the average if we zoom out another month now we can see that 7500 is actually a little on the high end for historical as we're zooming out if we go three months um, you can really see that it's actually usually a lot better than what it is currently so whatever your tool tells you that it's currently selling, it's probably gonna sell that or possibly more in the future. So that's what's really nice about this sales rank history 
Um, and there's no major spikes or anything like that uh, that I can see where they would have recently combined variations or anything like that. So this is probably pretty accurate data uh, for you to go off of. And if we actually switch to the 12 ounce here, that's gonna reload the Keepa graph. And so you can see now that it's completely different. Now we have a price of $29.95. There's actually no sales rank history. Oh, actually I just have it unchecked. Um, so there is a sales rank history on this. And if we zoom in, you can see Amazon still has this one separated. Uh, so this one's up at 50,000 approximately. And if we zoom out, we can see that that 50,000 is right about the median historically. Um, so if you chose to sell this one and you used your tool like Jungle Scout, then that guesstimate would be relatively accurate. You could project into the future that way. So let's go ahead and look at one more product that you might purchase. Uh, so this is an Altam pet dog training collar that I just clicked on. And if we scroll down on here, um, you can see this one only has data for 32 days. So most likely it's a new product um, or for some reason Keepa just started uh, tracking it, but most likely it's a new product. Um, you can see that the price has been relatively stable right here though it did drop down to thirty dollars for a little while someone was selling it at thirty dollars um, that was probably third-party FBM and FBM stands for fulfilled by merchant which means someone is selling it out of their own warehouse or their house and shipping them individually and so their price was $34.99. So somebody dropped it down here. It's not showing me exactly who it was, but somebody dropped it down there on us. Um, but you can see it's mostly pretty stable. The sales rank right now is pretty high. Um, if we zoom in here, we're at about 15,000, which historically is high, but we don't have a lot of historical data on this. So this one you would wanna be very careful. Um, I, I always recommend no matter what to make a small test order of whatever you're purchasing if you can. Uh, maybe like half a month or something like that in sales. Um, that way you're not going crazy and get stuck with a bunch of inventory if something should happen. Because um, you never know if Amazon might come on a listing, someone could tank the price or whatever the case may be. So you want to hedge your bets and make sure you're not uh, just throwing your money away and having to clear something out because of something that you missed. So let's see, that looks like the main things that I'm gonna use on Keepa. It's a really good tool. So if you haven't already, make sure you go down below, click the link for the browser extension, install that first, and then click the link to get the data package and purchase that. I would appreciate if you use those links, that way I get a small cut, no additional cost to you, and it helps me make more of these videos for free. And also remember to click right here to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more awesome videos just like this in the future to help you sell more products and build your Amazon business. Um, also remember to check out those Jungle Scout links down there and the other links also I'll have down below. Check all those out. Other than that, this is Todd Welch from the Entrepreneur Adventure signing off. Happy selling everybody.